Welcome back to my Football Manager 2022 journeyman save. We last left off against Mubo Babal United, our first game against uh, our first game for uh, Sion Padan and uh, Padan, not Pandan, it's Padan. I realised. Um, I think, um, yeah, one nil loss. We then followed up with a one nil loss, a penalty. We weren't very good again in that game. We had an easy game against. Uh, Percy Jam in the cap, they're a team below us at least, um, 4-0. And that really got the players going, really. Um, you can see our first league game, 6-2. I'll show you the goals, might as well. Um, Sotaro got his first couple of goals in the league for us, like whilst we've taken over, obviously. Um, as you can see here, a few of the assists. But it started off pretty badly in the first two minutes. The opposition with a long shot goal, and I thought this is going to be three league defeats in a row. And I was a little bit little bit worried I'm not gonna lie two minutes later then I got a little bit of a, a relief as we whipped the ball back in the box by Vivi Asareel to Santaro um, again with another goal which is a uh, which is brilliant and then good play by O'Harella who, who seems like a really good partner for Santaro as he gets another goal in the game second goal to make us 2-1 up and I thought oh, this this can be it and then 10 minutes later the opposition again with a goal for themselves I mean, whips it in the back post to Leedy, who just taps it in. So this has created two all, 20 minutes in, and I was like, this is bizarre. Seven minutes later then, we play good football. Singi, the playmaker, Santaro knocks it down to his mate, O'Harello, and he gets a goal for himself, who I really like him as a, as a side partner. And then, to make it 4-2 before half-time, Ricky, who's leaving us, he's agreed a new contract for someone who's top of the league or first league, sets up O'Harello again for a tap-in. So both strikers on a hat-trick. And then, second half, then Ojarello again picks the ball up, passes it back to Vivi, and he smashes one in. Really good goal. I think that's 5 2. And yeah, that's it. So I sub on a player who got a goal in the cup, an 18 year old Centaur puts him through, our striker there. So he gets a goal in the cup in the previous game and a goal in the league, which I was over the moon about. So we absolutely destroyed that team. Um, so as you can see, Centaur had a goal in this game. Two goals in the one we just viewed. We then play Badak Lampung. We beat him 3-0. Santaro with a brace and our centre-back Guzman. Uh, Didi Guzman, the 35-year-old, gets a goal for himself. And then we play fifth in the league and we smash them 5-0. Um, we'll watch the goals. As you can see, Santaro stars in this game with five, with four goals and one assist. Um, and yeah, they're pretty, pretty special game. As in, first... 10 minutes, we basically get Vivi whips the ball in Santaro. We've seen that before in the last game, gets a headed goal. And then we go all the way up to 81 minutes for Santaro to knock it to Ricky, who puts the ball through to Santaro again, who, with a fine finish, makes it 2 0. And then I sub on a striker called like um, a, a Apathy, I don't know, we'll see him now. There we go. Albi Cobb and this youngster, 18 year old centre mid, who I gave a contract, who sets up Santaro. Um, the third striker. I think Albacob, he's going to be battling because, as you can see, he, he gets on the end of a of a, a good ball, goes on the keeper, smashes one in. Um, Santaro, obviously, with the assist, I think. And then again, the youngster puts in Albacob. You think he's going to go himself, but he holds up the ball really well and passes it to San Sonato, who gets his fourth of the game. We smash fifth place 5 0. So, incredible run. Uh, got a few clean sheets as well. We're playing third in the league. We're going to dive straight into it because I've waffled enough. But there is a downside, um, and I'll show you right now. I let our football manager, I let our assistant manager, like have some of the players who aren't fit to go into the youth team. Uh, and I don't know why, but he had some starters play because they weren't officially fit. So I haven't gone back or anything. I've just been like, oh, I have to learn from my mistake. It means he has to play. I don't. It means he has to play. Um, a defence defender, uh, centre back, and yeah, some of the players that I wanted to play aren't playing. We've got to stick with the main selection, and I can't use the bench really because they're all blacked out players. So, if that's going to make it a little bit tougher to have our good run of form, I've taken a few instructions off. Um, I've, I think I've taken hit early crosses off and passing the space off, um, and it seemed to help. Some of the players didn't like that, so we'll dive into this game. Huge game. If we win this, it means I, I think I'm on to something. But if not, it's probably back at the drawing board and just making sure we, we get our rhythm back. But we're, we're smashing in goals. Um, I feel like today we could blame the squad, our, assist, our 
under 21s manager, sorry, I should give him the blame. As the opposition have the first highlight, they whip the ball in. Ferdinand, I wonder, no, it can't be Anton Ferdinand, can it? Doesn't look like it, he's, he looks like he's playing a bit too high up. Yeah, he's playing too high up. As Wambino smashes one in, it's disappointing. 10 minutes with one, one goal down. I mean, I'm still a little bit angry with our with our bench, and I mean, I think one play, yeah, one play will be starting. Obviously, Mohamed Fari isn't a centre back, but he should be able to do a job. He is a defence mid. As we put the ball forward to nobody, as long as we can have a good battle in this game, yeah. No, Ferdinand's playing up front. That's not Anton Ferdinand. As we really put through Herrera, can he find Santaro? He holds it up. That's his dangerous area. And this is Vivi on the ball. I should change his name to Vivi. That's his first name. Azvazal. Oh, it's an own goal. Oh, he must boot it against Santaro. He's on that much form that I'm not sure he even knew what he did there. One all. He's been amazing. I think, well, he's got 10 goals now in five games since he's been scoring. Um, I think. So that's incredible. And Vivi's got loads of assists, he's by far the most yeah, okay, he doesn't really see it, he just hits him on the back of the heel, I'd say that's a nonchalant finish, but uh, I think I mean, maybe we should get the assist for that, surely weird um, okay, we're back back on level I feel like uh, we're not doing too bad, we're losing it on possession but I think we always kind of will, I'm not holding on to the ball too much, we've got we've doubled their shots on, on target, so I'm happy with that, and here we go Centaro, free kick, taking eight <clears throat> excuse me but um, he's on fire. He hits the crossbar. Wow, not a bad effort at all. And that brings us to half time. Happy with that. Let's. Uh, you've been unlucky. I've actually been. Um, a bit of faith. Yeah, that's it. A bit of faith. They always like that. And hopefully we can't use the bench. Annoyingly, I was going to say let's get on some strikers, but yeah, I think I might have. Given that Aldecob maybe sixty minutes or not sixty, come on at sixty minutes because he was a handful when he came on, and uh, I think the the media do like him. They do mention why he doesn't play so often. He's like pretty, he's like a good dribbler and finisher. So we'll see. But Santaro's been put through here. Can he finish? Surely he can finish, and he does. I love it when when they have the confidence and they just act good that they do. Mofo, who's again who's in the media, a bit of a bizarre player, but he gets a really good assist there. Um, just boots it long. And this looks like it could be this could be an incredible victory. I feel like I'm gonna get carried away. We should all be getting carried away if we beat this team. They're third in the league. I think they've only lost two. And it jumps up to sixth. Um, which is very close to, to fourth, obviously, we know because we know maths. Um, but the points obviously are so close together. Anyway, we've got plenty of the game to go. They got possession. They're not creating too many chances. Um the only sub I can do, I think, is uh, the yeah, the old guy who can put a ball in the back of the net. Ooh, they, as they hit the post themselves. I'll see how it goes. Um, I was going to say, Centauro can always play wing, but why on earth would you have him on the wing when he's in this form? But it looks like our fitness levels should be able to hold us through this game. As Vivi dinks the ball back, post to Sonato, whatever his name is. I think, has he just got a hat-trick again? That is, he's, he's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, three goals. That is... He's an absolute king, isn't he? Absolute boss. Um, it's a really good little audacious little dink. And Santaro, he's amazing in the air for someone who's five foot eight, I would say. Five foot eight, yeah. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, hopefully we can hold on to this. It's three one. We should be able to. Maybe I should go balance, but we'll see. It looks like we're really controlling this game. They might get another goal, but I don't think they'll get it back to three all. Famous last words. As our makeshift centre backs on the ball, and Didi Guzmoan, who's thirty-five, who's been solid this season. We go long. Santaro's that he wants four, doesn't he? Can he finish? Oh, why did I even ask that question? Of course he can. That's incredible. Last game, four. This game, four. I think maybe he doesn't like hat tricks. He just goes for four goals. That's incredible. He's amazing, absolutely amazing. Sonato. Dinks the goalie. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
That is, he is scarily good. He's got a bit of pace. He's good at dribbling. His finishing's good and his composure's good, but he's playing out of his socks, isn't he? Um, that's amazing. I'm over the moon with that. I mean, third place and we just smashed them 4-1. Hmm. This is this is looking good. So we're now we're two points off fourth. I think we've got like seven, eight games left. We're on some serious form. I know we play... I've got some players coming in on, on trial, obviously. I'm going to get some players in. Um, in fact, I'll show you some of the signings that we have made that are coming for October time. Um, but that is incredible. So... Sonato, yeah, 14 goals. Who's he wanted by? He's what obviously he wants to transfer. They want to transfer him. Um, I'll have to get pinned down for a contract, obviously. Transfers in. Taking a bit of a risk. Um, out, you can see Ricky and this other strikers going in Feb. So we've got a bit of time. They will be part of the squad. But we've got a goalie. Um, again, I took a bit of risk on this. They're all, they're all three. Ahmed. Here's a yam. Again, we'll see how good they are when they come in. It's a bit risky. Um, he's just on a uh, trial, so it's fine. And Jack Brown, who's got an English um, nationality as well as Indonesian. And yeah, 19 year old looks good, and the rest are just trialists who probably won't sign for us. But um, yeah, three players to look forward to. Um, I'm going to leave it there now. I think that's everything covered. Um, Indonesia second round against Sulet. Um, and then ninth place, fourth place, fifth place, second. And first, we'll see. I'll I'll play up to these two. Dewey United. Uh, we might have a, a double header here if, I, if I'm not yapping on too much. So yeah, that looks interesting. Let me know what you think. Um, I can't get another coaching badge, so we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Let me know if you want to look at anything. If there's something I just haven't shown you guys, and I'm just waffling a bit too much. But um, yeah, hopefully this episode isn't too long. So oh yeah, 12 minutes. That's not bad for me. I'll keep them, try and keep them to that. Unless it's a double header, probably like 16, 17. Anyway, Centaur is an absolute beast. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.